few people realize that concrete, making it and using it, is responsible for around 7% of the entire global emissions of carbon dioxide every year. That's a shocking fact. Around half of that is because of the huge amounts of heat that are required to actually make cement in the first place. And the other half is carbon dioxide that's released as a result of a very useful chemical reaction when you add water to the mix and uh, all kinds of amazing things happen and then the concrete sets. So what can be done about it? The reason why 7% of the world emissions is concrete is because so much building is going on. You just have to look around at places like Dubai, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, on the one hand, Shanghai, Beijing, on the other, Mumbai, Delhi, uh, Kolkata. The emerging countries are seeing the most enormous catch-up and with massive amounts of new real estate being built, infrastructure, roads, airports, you name it, it's going up and there's a lot being used in the developed world as well. So what can be done to reduce this? Well, it's very interesting. Research being done in Australia shows that we can create all kinds of radical new kinds of concrete. We might call them ecrete or polymercrete, using all kinds of special ingredients. It could be waste ash from power stations. It could be plastic components. It could be all kinds of other waste products built into concrete. It's amazing what you can throw into cement. <laughs> you just throw any kind of stuff in there and cement sets around it and it becomes a new form of crete. The big question is how stable it is and that's a challenge because we don't really know. It's all very well to say oh yes we'll mix this new e-crete and we'll use it for our bridge but if the bridge starts cracking up in 10 or 15 years time that's not so smart and it will take us some years to know what the resilience is of these new kinds of concrete and to be sure that we can use them in very sensitive structures where long-term strength is absolutely critical. But I would say that we will see radical forms of new concrete, we will see all kinds of innovations in the construction industry which will perhaps halve the amount of energy needed to produce a tonne of concrete. At the moment it's one tonne of carbon for one tonne of concrete and that's an awful lot of carbon dioxide.